Morrison throws a jump ball. The 50-50 ball is won by Penn State. Interception. The Penn State Indy Lions perfect heading into the bye. Amani Oruwarie had one of those two picks on Saturday against Northwestern, and he joins us now from our studio in State College. Amani, congratulations on a fantastic start. You guys head into the bye week perfect. What are your priorities in this off week? Um, well, just like any other bye week, we would just uh, kind of touch up on some fundamentals, um, little stuff that you know kind of break down throughout the year. And then um, make some corrections on, you know, general uh, mistakes or plays that we've seen throughout the first half of the season. And then uh, kind of get a chance for the younger guys to start developing and, and uh, get, they get a lot, more, a lot more work during practice. And then uh, also get a head start on our next opponent. The next opponent, of course, is Michigan. How much have you started watching film of the Wolverines? Uh, yeah, we, we got a head start as soon as uh, Northwestern was over. Um, uh, we started watching some of the routes, um, some of their schemes, and um, but we're just kind of easing our way into it. And then um, by next week, we should have a good grasp of what they what they're doing. Your team has made a fairly significant leap defensively, to say the least, this year. You lead the nation in scoring defense. You were 47th a year ago. How do you account for that? What's changed here? Well, yeah, Coach Pry, you know, he really. Um, emphasizes taking the ball away and uh, we worked on it throughout spring uh, summer and then even in camp you know we just, just kept trying to take the ball away however we can get our hands on the ball and uh, it's carried over to the season you know we've, we've been doing well with it um, next step is just getting to the end zone well you personally have been doing well with it as well three interceptions you lead the Big Ten I know coming into the season you felt like hey I haven't gotten the recognition I deserve I can be a superstar player on this defense. Do you feel like you're finally starting to get that recognition? Yeah, I think um, it's slowly coming along. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't the biggest. The big thing wasn't that I, you know, wanted to be in the spotlight. It was just like, you know, I, I know I'm a good player. You know, I just as soon as I get the opportunity, I get a, get a chance to, you know, show the world. And uh, I think it's coming along so far. Well, you originally committed to Coach Franklin at Vanderbilt, and then you decided to follow him to Penn State. So you're someone who's wanted to be with Coach Franklin here as his head coach for quite some time. What is it about him that made you want to play for him? Yeah, he's just a people's coach. Um, you know, he gets along with players really well. Um, and he was just unlike any of the other coaches I met throughout the recruiting process. And... Um, but I just had a really good, you know, relationship with the whole coaching staff. And then uh, other than that, it was just the guys, you know, when I came up here, I just, you know, even uh, when I came up here on my visit, you know, just meeting those guys, just great quality guys, you know, those, those are guys you want to surround yourself with. And um, the coaches have the best interest in heart for us as well. I always find it interesting when you talk to a defensive player on a team that has a really good offense to get their point of view on it because you went against this team, obviously, all spring all preseason. So tell us about Trace McSorley. Where has he made the biggest leap as a quarterback? Well, yeah, you know, he's um, he's been working on his craft, you know, since I've known him since Vanderbilt. You know, he's just prepared for this moment, and um, he's gotten better, you know, with his balls, like deep throws and, you know, intermediate, everything. And then mostly he's just a leader, you know. He's just he's one of those guys that you want on your team because he, he knows how to win. You know, he's done it throughout high school, and uh, he's carried over here to college as well. What's the best move you've ever seen from Saquon Barkley? Best move I've ever seen? Um, I would say uh, recently that in the Iowa game when he, when he came up on the sideline and kind of, you know, stopped his momentum completely and then kept going. It was just like, it's hard for a guy that's, you know, 230 pounds to just change gears like that. But, you know, he finds a way to do it. When you look at this team as a whole, what are the biggest things you guys need to do to be a national championship contender? Well, you know, we just can't can't really let, you know, the press get to us. Um, we kind of just got to take it um, one game at a time, like Coach Franklin always talks about, and um, just work on our craft, you know, study our opponent, and keep playing with confidence. You know, a team with confidence is, you know, very dangerous, and uh, I think we're playing with confidence right now. 
How hard is that to do to fixate just on the next game when you, know, you guys are obviously you're on the internet, social media, all that stuff, walking around campus, talking to people. You know what the expectations are. How tough is it to keep those blinders on? Yeah, I mean, it's tough at times, but, you know, Coach Franklin does a great job, you know, just make sure we zero in on just our next opponent. Um, we don't even talk about the, uh, the opponent after the next opponent until that week comes up. You know, it's, we even have a, you know, their logo up on um, in our, um, one of our rooms going out to practice where you can just see the next opponent, uh, their logo right there. So it just keeps us zeroed in on, like, you know, Michigan, 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 whoever's next. So. But there are certainly students on campus asking you about Ohio State. So how do you address that? Um, as best as we can we don't we don't I mean we don't go too far in depth about it but we just kind of answer whatever they ask us but just try to tell them you know our next opponent is Michigan so we're just gonna worry about that how much did what happened last year the fact that you guys were snubbed by the college football playoff committee impact your preparation for this year um I don't think it I mean all it did it really all it really did was uh put a chip on our shoulder you know we uh, we knew how good we were, you know, we got better throughout the year, and uh, that just made us work harder throughout the off season. and um, like I said, just play with a chip on our shoulder, so now this year we can um, leave no doubt in their eyes. So, Amani Oruwarie, I need to ask you this, what is the most butchered pronunciation you've ever heard of your name? Most butchered? Um, I've heard someone legitimately say Oreo, and I was just like, that isn't even... Doesn't even look remotely close. Doesn't even sound right. But I've heard it all. You know, those icebreakers on the first day of school when you had to say your name, uh, those were the worst. But um, people are learning it a little bit better now. It feels like they are learning how to pronounce it now. Amani, congratulations on a great start to your year, and thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you, Dave.